Hi everyone. Today I'm going to present to you another utility I developed. Um, I found tidbits of information on this a long time ago, but uh, never to the level that I've taken it. And I thought I'd, I'd just demonstrate today. And it's about increasing accessibility, helping certain people, let's say, with uh, poor vision, and making your application talk to you, dictate to you. And surprisingly, it really isn't that hard to do. Um, there's a library for this. And that's what we're going to explore a little bit today. So today I wanted to present to you, basically what we're going to be looking at is the SAPI object library, the Microsoft Speech Object Library. I have an article on the subject and speak to me access. Obviously, I developed this with access in mind, specifically forms. And this approach, it's VBA. It's an object library that you can implement into any other project. So it doesn't even have to just be accessed. This can be ported to Excel, to Word, to Outlook. If you want to narrate your emails, it can be done. And it can be done quite easily in reality. And that's what I want to explore a little bit today. So I do have an article, as you can see. And you're going to see a little bit of progression through it from a very basic. This is what I, when I went searching, I managed to find code that would do this basically. Uh, very primitive. You pass an input and then it uses the speak function to narrate it back to you. Um, and that wasn't quite enough for me. And I, as you can see, I got into early and late binding, first of all, just to give me the flexibility while I'm coding versus when I actually deploy it in production. That was my one of my first things that I did that I didn't find any real information on. And then I decided, well, this is nice, but then I have to code this against every single control that I want to use this on. And that is simply insane. So I set out to create something more versatile that I didn't need to hard code in every instance. And um, that's where I came up with the idea of in combination with an auto key macro calling my function and that it would recognize where the cursor is, the active control. So I was, I used this, an auto key, if you're not familiar with it, is it associates a key sequence to a command. In my case, I use the sequence key, uh, control key, which I was thinking control talk. And it calls, as you can see, run code and the function, my sappy narrate function, which is here. And it takes a whole series of all optional input arguments. So if you supply a string, it will narrate that string uh, right here. Okay, so if you supply it, it will just narrate what you supplied. But if you don't supply one, which I don't in my macro, then it's going to go and use the active control. So the control you're currently on. And that's the beauty, the flexibility. Now we have a macro that you can call just by doing control T on any control that I've coded for. And it will narrate that control content back to you. And now we have a versatile and flexible uh, function. Now I've coded, as you can see, check boxes, combo boxes, command buttons, list box, text boxes. I haven't done every single control type, like let's say a web browser control. Um, I may add some more, but I did the bulk, the most common, the most useful ones in my opinion. Then um, I have a little section here, how you can retrieve information about your current setup on your machine, because there's a whole slew of available voices. You can even install new ones if you want and get different languages, different genders, things like that. Uh, this function will enumerate what's currently on your system. And it will return something like this, as you can see. So you get the name, you get this gender, you get the age, you get uh, the language, your English, and et cetera. So you just get an idea of what's on your machine because then you can use that when you call my function, okay? the narrator gender you want to use amongst other things. You um, And then taking it a little further, I expanded my auto keys and I added more functions. So we got the control T for talking, but then I added control H to halt or pause, um, a control G to resume that to go and a control E to stop and terminate the narration. So now, even if you have a long, let's say memo text box or something like that, you can actually pause the narration in the middle and then resume it if you need to. Um, and this is the final version 
of the function. So enough yip yap, let's uh, dive in, let's take a look at it. So this is what I uh, used. I had a very simple database. Uh, this wasn't really refined in any way for presentation, so just bear with me a little bit. But as I said, I have my auto key macro here, and it's exactly what I showed you before. So control T, control H, control G, control E. And then I have my VBA macros, uh, VBA code, VBA functions. So this is the complete uh, VBA function. And as you can see, the, the macro calls the SAPI pause, calls the SAPI resume, the SAPI stop function. So that's exactly what it's calling. And then we have an internalization module because we, depending on what, how your computer is set up, uh, certain separators may be different, so I needed to accommodate for that. So I have this one helper function. And that's literally it. Now, one thing to note, I should have mentioned here. So in the talk function, I'm not supplying any of the input arguments. And if you look at that function, as you can remember, I have a whole series of optional ones. So you can change the speed of narration if you want to. You can change the volume of the narration, the gender. And by default, it narrates the control type that I'm on and the associated label caption. You can deactivate that and change it to false. And you can do that either directly here by changing the default value, or here you can add the input argument that you want to deactivate or activate those uh, functionalities. So let's just take a look at it. It's the easiest way. You just open one of the forms. You go on any control you want. You press control T and the result is text box. First name, George. So as you can see, it narrates the, um, the, the, the fact that I'm on a text box. Next, it narrated the caption for the associated label, so first name, and then it narrated the actual value of that text box. But as I said, narrating text box, narrating first name, those are optional. You can deactivate them. And um, you can go and um, onto different uh, controls. Um, let's see, on the con command button here. Command button. Command 14. And it will read you the, the caption of that command button. Or if you're on a combo box. Combo box. Combo 17. VP. And if we take another one, and this one I kept on purpose. Uh, there is one thing you need to be aware of. Is it will narrate even what is behind certain uh, password input uh, masks. So be careful with this one. Text box gt at hotmail.com so even though you've obfuscated it the speech function will still narrate the actual value so be careful with that um, we could add some type of um, coding in the vba function perhaps to accommodate for that um, files it's the same thing it's just a text box text box file c colon backslash temp backslash one dot pdf or if we take this, this was my testing form that I had developed. Um, you know, you, you make in a list box. List box. List two. No. Maybe. Add a hello world. Text box. Text zero. Hello world. Pick a control. Command button. Create new contact. So as you can see, it's very versatile. Um, text box, text zero. There's no value, there's nothing to read. Um, so just, just illustrating to you how easy it is, two modules and an auto key macro, and now you have a database or an Excel, a workbook, a Word document that can actually talk to you now and narrate the content back to the user. So, um, yeah, it is possible to add even narration to your application, your solutions, whatever they may be, as long as they're VBA. And as I said, my code, it can do both early or late binding. 
And if you're going to use early binding, as I noted here in my functions, then you have to have the Microsoft Speech Object Library. So uh, the Microsoft Speech Object Library. And it's also commonly known as SAPI. And because it's the SAPI DLL. And that wraps it up for uh, enabling uh, any solution, VBA solution, to speak to you. Um, as you can see, it's very simple. In reality, you're looking at uh, four functions uh, plus a helper function and an auto key macro. And now any form you have, you can make talk to you um, that simply. Let me know what you think. Uh, is this new to you? Have you seen it before? Do you think this is something you'll be able to implement in uh, one of your uh, solutions? Thank you for spending a couple minutes of your day with me. Greatly appreciate it. If you don't mind, like, subscribe, drop me a comment below. It would be greatly appreciated. I'd love to know what you guys think of some of these videos. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.